This next vehicle could be called the latest recruit into the US Army. The M1126 Stryker Infantry Carrier Vehicle. Manufacturer, General Dynamics Land Systems. Power Plant, one Caterpillar 350 horsepower diesel engine. Maximum speed, 100 kilometers per hour. Carrying capacity, two crew and nine troops. Armor, classified. Armament, 1.50 caliber machine gun, one 40 millimeter grenade launcher. Range, 502 kilometers. With a top speed of 100 kilometers per hour and weighing in at nearly 19 tons, the eight-wheel striker is the first wheeled combat armored vehicle the American Army has had since World War II. But this is no ordinary newcomer. As soon as it was introduced into service in Iraq in December 2003, the striker began to make a name for itself. The Iraqi insurgents have given it a bit of high praise. They call it the shadow because unlike armored vehicles, they clank, they, they roar when the engines go. You can hear them coming. They have been surprised in a number of engagements when the striker shows up because it shows up essentially silently, or at least very quietly. Following the collapse of the Soviet Union and the end of the Cold War, the American military faced many new challenges. They needed a modern, highly mobile infantry carrier that would take them into the 21st century. The result was the Stryker. Originally adapted from the same stable as the Marine's LAV-25, the Stryker was at first criticized for its vulnerability in having wheels instead of tracks. If you're going to have a medium or high mobility vehicle that operates on roads, if you're going to have wheels, you have to accept the fact that some things are vulnerable. Even main battle tanks are vulnerable. But I think the great thing about Stryker is that you can run away, or you can maneuver, or you can replace and repair. So nothing is perfect in this world. Uh, but in terms of a balance of capabilities, Stryker comes well up in my estimation. With its computerized cockpit and the ability to carry two crew members and nine troops over a range of 480 kilometers, this rapid response vehicle gets the job done over almost any terrain. Well, it certainly has greater speed than all the other vehicles we have in our arsenal. On most terrain, it has, in fact, greater mobility than tracked vehicles. The real debate comes down to soft terrain, marshy terrain, perhaps in winter, whether tracks, because the way tracks work to distribute the weight of a vehicle versus tires is where track vehicles have an advantage. But for most of the terrain we're looking at, under most circumstances, it actually operates better than tracked vehicles. And with the ability to be transported via C-130 aircraft, this vehicle can now be placed right in the center of the action at a moment's notice. The Stryker has become so indispensable to the American military that it now has entire units formed around it, known as Stryker Brigades. We've been able to maneuver Stryker units almost across the length of, of Iraq. The, the brigade is based in the north, and we've actually brought battalions down 350 miles in a single day to engage in combat. So it, it's been a very effective system, and it's saved a lot of lives. With over 2,000 strikers ordered, this 21st century fighting vehicle has a strong production rating. Innovation and carrying capability mark it higher, but marks for mobility and service length are down. Still, it earns fourth place on our